Good morning, guys. So it is 5 a.m. in the morning. And you might be asking, why are we up so early if we're at a stay-at-home status, a.k.a. slash quarantine? And it's because we brought the bail cast home. Check it out. We brought all of our equipment here so that we can start shooting the bail cast, the Barton Geo podcast back at home and still get all the content out. Because we know these days, not just people in California, people all over the nation, people all over the world are stuck at home and people need content, man. People are super bored. I've even seen parents go out jogging with their kids and no one does that. So I know old people are bored, young people, middle-aged people, everyone is freaking bored. So me and mom are like, let's get our content out and get it out there. And plus we want to keep the podcast going. And since we are supposed to stay at home, we're like, technically, even though it is our office, we shouldn't be going there. And you might be going, why the hell does he have boogers coming out of his nose? It's because I had a workout at 4 a.m. this morning because I was so excited. I woke up at like 3.45 and I was like, oh shit, today's podcast. I'm so excited to do a podcast. I haven't done a podcast in a long time. And I'm like, cool, I get to talk to Mar Brown on camera and get to connect with all of you guys. And I'm like, you know what? What makes me feel good every morning before I start my work day, even though today's not really a work day, I'm like a workout. So I hit the gym in the garage real quick. So I'm all sweaty. I got uh, boogers coming out. But hopefully we have a really good podcast. And if we don't have enough time to clean all this up, hopefully you guys can excuse us because we are on a time crunch. That's why we're doing at 5 a.m. in the morning because Taika is down because grandma's not around so we don't have a babysitter. And Taika wakes up at 7. So we need to get it started at 5.30 so we can finish hopefully at like 6.30, 6.45 and then be right in time for Taika before he gets up and starts causing the Taika tornado. Okay, Mom Bear. Our first podcast at home. How do you feel? It's fucking convenient. I love it so much. Are you kind of scared we might make wake up Tycho if we get too excited? No. Oh, really? Yeah. No, yeah. Why would we? We wouldn't get that excited. He sleeps with the noise maker on. But sometimes we scream on our podcast, don't we? Not like that, no. Oh, fine. Yeah, I don't think so. It is this really is convenient, though, huh? freaking nice. It does look really nice back there. Does it? Cool. The only yeah. thing that I feel like might be weird, and if you guys are insider, then you'll know, is we're podcasting right during the sunrise. So if during the podcast, uh, like it starts lighting up back there, that uh, might be pretty funny. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll call that out. Yeah, but um, yeah, this is, should be really fun, really convenient, because usually we have to get up and then take us like 30 to 40 minutes to even get to the office. So our first time at home, it does feel way cozier. So maybe our topics are going to get cozier. We'll see. Let's roll, baby. Rolling the camera. Rolling. The sound. Can you give the mics a little snap? Bam, ready to go. Just finished the podcast. I can't wait to see my little dude. Good morning. Good morning. His diaper leaked. Oh no, you peed on the bed? Let me see. I don't see any. Oh no, it's here. It's like wet. Is it? Yeah, here. Oh, let me see. You don't have to smell it. Ooh. What do you think? It's water? No, I don't know. I don't know what kind of parties he has. Close the door. It's warm in here. Okay, fine. <laughs> hey, fun. We're just talking about you yeah, on the podcast. Mm, little funny. My little old lady. My little I old call lady. her my old lady too. <laughs> my little old lady. Little what? grandma. What do you like? Where's this from? Where's this from? Game of Thrones. Dun, dun, She's so gangster. It dun, was me. Time to make some food. And uh, we're trying to get rid of the perishables first because we have a lot of yummy processed food that'll last forever. But when it comes to rationing out all the food, we want to get rid of things that are going to expire. So, what? Tell the truth how you want it to be a freaking baby and eat your food 
and you were gonna go to the store to buy more food, and I was like, Papa, we got perishables, and have to be the mom. Why is it always the wife's job to burn a husband down? Cause it's like you always want to have fun without thinking. Duh. Like, Cause I have, we, I saw a pork belly in there, and then just the other day I saw our friends make kimchi jjigae. I'm like, ooh, kimchi jjigae. Yeah, and I'm like, what are you doing? We have so much food that's gonna perish, go bad. Yeah. So Marber's being I have sensible. To tell the truth. I have to tell you. Fine. So Marber's being sensible. So uh, we had a whole bag of cucumbers. So I'm gonna actually make two dishes out of it. One for this specific meal, and another one just a side dish to put on the side as the Koreans would call panchan. Um, and it's one of my favorite uh, side dishes that are from uh, Japan. All it is is this guy with some sesame oil, which I'll show later. But what I'm gonna do for lunch is I'm gonna season this Middle Eastern style. That's one of the perks of living with uh, Nadim because he uh, would show me all kinds of his like family's cooking. And so what I'm gonna make is this cucumber, I mean, uh, yogurt with some cucumber, throw some black pepper, mint leaves, and salt, season that up, and then that'll go in like this flatbread taco type of thing, and I'll show you how I season the meat after. So pretty much got the yogurt, the mint, the black pepper, the cucumber, and some salt put in there. And it looks like an even consistent mixture. And this is the, gonna be the topping for the flank steak. And I'm gonna grill up. Let's try it. Mmm. Pretty good. I think I'm a certified Afghan chef. Too bad Nadim isn't here to try it, but I think I would have made him proud. Yes. Hey, baby, can you try this? Tell me if I recreated no. the, the deep magic. It's gonna be a topping on steak. Did I do a good job? Yeah. You really promise? Good. Yeah, it's really good. Yes! It's really, really good. I am a certified Middle Eastern chef now. <gasps> it's gonna go on that steak. It's gonna be bomb. What is Tiger gonna eat? <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Because it might be too fancy for him. Yeah, he can't. Or I mean, we could try it. But we Peanut butter jelly sandwich? <laughs> we got dumplings. Oh yeah, that's easy to make. And then I'm gonna make a Japanese. We're so international, so I got a straight up like Afghan dish here. And I'm gonna make a Japanese dish right there. Bada bing, bada boom. So this Japanese dish is actually really easy to make. Just gotta get some sesame oil, white pepper, and salt. And this is something that you would just have on the side, like a little kimchi. I already have some sesame oil, but let's put some more on here. And then get a little bit of white pepper, just a dash. Not enough to make it spicy, but just to like, give it a different dimension and flavor. And then some salt. And then mix it all up. Am I? Yeah, you're killing the international food game. And I'm making a, this is, this is a straight up restaurant. I'm making Japanese food and Middle Eastern food at the same time. Zam's Walk. Chinese restaurant. They make everything. <laughs> that's true. Adam Chinese. And that's it. These guys are done. Japanese style. Ooh, Saika, you want some? Use your bomb. They're good? Hell yeah. Cucumber? Want cucumber? It's yummy. I did a good job. You killed it. Hell yeah. Put these in the fridge. Mm. These will just hang out with the kimchi. All right, time to season the meat. When it comes to Middle Eastern style meat, it's so rich in flavor, and it's because there's a ton of spices. So it's not gonna be your normal just salt and pepper. We got granulated onion, which is the same thing as onion powder. I just realized that this is on its last leg, so I'm just gonna finish using this. Use this. Got some cumin, turmeric, paprika, garlic powder, salt, and of course, Black pepper, just a little bit. I don't know where I put it. Oh well, yeah, go grab it. Look <laughs> at crazy ass tiger over there. <laughs> you crazy dude. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna season this up and it should taste really good. And I think that's what the yogurt is for. So you have like this really rich uh, meat with all this flavor of like turmeric and cumin. And it's the type that where like if you touch it with your hand and you suck on your fingers, you could get that flavor. And then you have the nice yogurt that kind of calms down all the spices and it's like a really good like blend of the two. So I'm gonna hook it up right now. 
So this is what it looks like with all of the spices on there from that side over here. So now what I like to do is I like to pat it in. So that way the minute you throw it on the pan, it doesn't all come off because it is a hefty layer of spices. Once I pat it in, I like to flip them over and then season the other side, but be really careful because this meat is thin. I might not even need to, to be honest, because some parts of it, if I double season it, it's gonna get really salty and I've definitely made that mistake before. So I might uh, half or even a third the season that I did on the other side, just so, especially with the salt, just so I don't like over salt things, but yeah. So some of them like this, this side is like almost like shabu shabu meat, so I'll be careful, but these three main chunks, I think I could season it again, but just really lightly. No, it's hella bomb already. Look at that. And the meat is now done. I can't wait to show you what it looks like once I plate it. But it tastes pretty good. Chopped it all up. So it's easy to make into like a little uh, flatbread taco. And I'm gonna start plating it. All right, so should I make yours first or mine first? Yes, mine. And I already okay. have my, my little naan ready to go. Okay. That one. This one? Wait, yeah, okay. there's like hair on it. Okay, i put this one here. And how I like to do it, I like to put my yogurt as the first layer and I put the meat on top. Or you want your meat on top and then yogurt on top. Yogurt first. As a base? Yeah, so it sticks. Okay. So you got the yogurt and cucumber. Okay, that's it. That's okay. a lot of yogurt. And then? Ooh, I didn't even taste the meat yet. Can I try the meat? Yeah. Hopefully you like it. Mmm. Wow. Papa, you killed it. Did I? Mm hmm Oh, I was scared. And the fact that you didn't put that much salt on it is awesome. I know. I've been trying really hard not to, uh, to over-season it because I know like as I cook, I'm like, mm, it's not salty enough, and it just slowly, slowly, slowly gets into that round. Here we go. So Damn. we got, we got the that, garlic naan. I know these are two different brown people. I get it. There's Middle Eastern. Hey, we're doing our best with what we got. Well, yeah, but hey, then the, the non's from Trader Joe's too. Mmm. Is it yummy? Mm-hmm. Yay! You killed it. Awesome. Mmm. Are you send it to Nat? I said it to him. I was bomb. This guy didn't even get to eat lunch because this is what happened. He knocked out before he even took his first bite. Alright. Since Papa did the cooking, I'm doing all the cleaning. And I took off all the cushion covers. And I'm gonna wash them right now. And I'm eating Starburst, sorry. Look. My sister's the best. She got me only the blessed flavors. And I did say blessed. That's so good, you guys. Um, so our living room looks like that, and then, I still haven't got to this, but this is all Tyka's like newborn and like infant stuff that I'm not going to use that anytime soon. There is a, we have been trying for baby number two, but not like actively like Put it in her schedule. I'm ovulating, like, not that way. It's been very casual. So if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But all of those things don't fit tight anymore. I had a bunch of stuff there. Moved it down. I'm gonna put things in boxes. I'm gonna donate some of his clothes. Um, I think I'm gonna convert this into more play space for him. Because it's just, like, really big. I think I'm moving that guy there. I was going to put some toys here. So I can slowly start moving him out of the living room, which I don't feel like that's going to happen anytime soon. But at any capacity, move him over here a little bit more. But I also do like him playing over there because, I mean, I enjoy seeing him play in the flam uh, family area. Sorry. I just have this candle stuck on my jaw now. Um, 
Cause that was kind of plan. But yeah, you guys. And there's still that closet I wanna take care of. There's still this room. It's just the laundry room that I wanna take care of. But I've literally never done anything with it since we moved in. Like we got dog bowls, we got his life vest. It's in here. I could put some stuff in here. I have like a lot of storage. Like none of this is organized. Like it's so random. I even have his newborn um, detergent. I'm like there's a lot of stuff that's gotta go or get organized. That's what I'm talking about. I think Papa's gonna take a nap. Cause we like to take advantage of when Tyke is sleeping, we like to sleep. Oh, there's still this room that I gotta do. Let's get this one. Oh God. Hmm. I wonder where Papa's gonna take a nap. I bet she's gonna take a nap in one of the rooms. Smart. I feel that. I feel that big time. I can't sleep with socks on either. Huh? I can't sleep with socks on either. Look at this guy. He's out. Oh god, the next project is definitely this after Taika's room and my room. But for now, Papa's been heating the pool. Just one time heating, because it's really expensive. Well, we don't even know how much it really is. And I can't I have a feeling it's really expensive, okay? I think it's really expensive if you keep it running all day long, like 365. Yeah. But if... 365. Uh, anyway. no, <laughs> yeah. Taika, <laughs> <Tyka, laughs> where are you at? Okay, bye, Taika. We're leaving. Oh, there you are. Oh, magic. But I think even if you're just swimming like one weekend a week, like four times a month, I still don't think that's expensive. So yeah, we're getting the, and he's gonna put air so in. One of the homies, aunt is one of the most frugal guys I know, and he swims once a week. Yeah, but he doesn't heat his pool. He does. When he swims, he heats it. Really? Yeah, he tells me he heats it. I gotta ask him. He's very frugal. Yeah, he's very frugal. He's smart with his money. Taika, where you at? I don't know. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? There's a spider. I think we're done. done <laughs> eat it. Go out, eat your donut. Are you gonna eat your donut? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's take it outside. What about this big old thing? Nah. You know we can't wait. As soon as we finish lunch and pumped up all those things, my bed I got to get in the water. Is this supposed to warm it up here? Yeah, so I just I just turned on the heater Ooh. for the jacuzzi. Everything's still super cold because we were being really, really frugal and we didn't want to heat anything yet. But then we're like, who are we kidding? Come on, at least the first day we got to feel we should be swimming. So that's what we're doing. Tyke is definitely not affected by this cold. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can just tell by your body language that you're really cold. Like, yeah, I have like chicken skin and he has like the chillest, he's just regular. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, I gotta do a, a mandatory christening dive in. Not in here, right? There. Okay, oh my God. You guys, it's really, really cold. You guys, it's really, really cold. No. Careful with the machine. Oh. I think he regretted it. Whoa, doing the brush. Woo. Feels good. Yeah, right. I have a pool. I have a pool. I have a pool. Can you believe it? I have a pool. 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 Look how cute this guy is. 
<laughs> this little Mickey Mouse rope. You're so cute, dude. And you know what I love seeing? All these toys. It's so cutie. I love just going to the pool and just seeing all these toys. This is so cool. It's been a dream of mine ever since I was a kid to have a pool in my backyard. And we finally have one. And now my kid is going to grow up only having a pool. That is so freaking cool. It's Jill's dream too. Both of me and Jill's dream is to always have a, a pool. And we worked hard. And now we have our own, and it's a really cool pool that we can do laps with. We got a hot tub. I'm so happy with our backyard. Are you happy with your backyard? <laughs> I don't know. Don't go, go, go. go inside. It's cold, huh? Okay, let's go inside. Whoa. Dinner time. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Shabu shabu. And what's super cuny is none of this is even the food that we got when we stocked up. All of this food is before that, and so all we're doing is just cleaning out the fridge, which is awesome. Like I got this bok choy in two weeks ago. I'm surprised it's still in. Yeah. Okay. I'm surprised. Oh, I, I set you up over here. Oh, I guess we can switch ponzu because I know you like that ponzu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah, so this one I got from um, the Asian market. These guys I got a long time ago, and I froze them up. You could even tell it's just like sell by February 16th. This one's even by February 7th. So these are just old stuff, just throwing it all together, but it's delicious. You know me and Shabu. Marbe loves Shabu Shabu stuff. So. I love it because it's so clean. All we use is water. Yeah, that's it's it. water and just whole foods. Yeah. Tyke already ate. He ate before us. Yeah, so he's now he's eating, a, he's eating a protein bar. Because mm. he doesn't really like eating like animal protein so he's got to get his protein in somehow somewhere somewhere it's somehow. not the protein for the sake of him having muscles it's just for the sake of him being balanced yeah the steroids is for him having muscles exactly taika what do you have over there what's that one um green apple what about that one green apple and what about that one <laughs> what about that one Pee. what about this one <laughs> what about that one apple. is that pineapple small or big is it small or big? Big. Good job. Uh oh. The news ain't lying, dude. I'm at the homie shop, Gun Effects. Shout outs to Alvin. And look at that. So we still got those guns over there, but this whole wall is just gone. Lots of guns gone. A lot of people, well, I think, first of all, Asians, they're like, holy shit. People are being hella racist, so I need to go protect myself. And then the other people are just like, fuck, there's about to be riots and stuff. It seems like the whole government is sh it's going crazy, so I need to protect myself if shit hits the fan. And you know what? Both of you guys are right. Um, it's not the government's responsibility for your safety. You're responsible for your own safety, which is why I think everyone um, should be firearm trained. I think it should be like having like a driver's license Like everyone should be able to drive and have a license and you learn in high school I think everyone should learn how to shoot in high school because I learned how to shoot when I was 10 in the Boy Scouts So yeah, uh, I'm coming back here to pick up um, a bunch of weapons. I got cleaned um, Like a couple months ago that I completely forgot about Joe was just here and he texted me he goes Hey, did you know your guns are still here? I'm like, oh shoot during this crazy ass time. I should probably pick up some guns. So shout outs to Alvin because uh, he was able to help me bypass the line through the back. I just came in through the back and he hooked me up because this place is closed and it's eight o'clock right now and they're still serving customers because people are, they want it that bad. I think he was telling me like the line went all the way out from inside the plaza all the way to the street. So now there's everyone's, it's clearing out, but it's still gonna be another hour per customer. So it might be here till midnight, which is crazy. This is so crazy. So I stopped by a boba shop to get some boba on the way home from the gun store because Ma Bear texted me. She's like, you know, we've been quarantined, so we've been making all of our meals, and I think she just wants a little taste of outside. So she's like, can you grab some boba? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to try to find something that's open. So while I found one, I pulled into the parking lot. Look at this plaza. It is a ghost town out here. It's a straight-up Saturday night today. And Saturday nights in LA is popping no matter where you go. But the f like I have never seen streets this empty. This is usually like 
maybe like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. type streets, it's 8.30. And look at this. Straight up, just got one car and a giant parking lot with a gym, with the Planet Fitness. This is freaking crazy. One thing that's super cool though, is if you gotta run errands during this time, even though they're supposed to stay inside, go stay inside, um, it's much easier and much faster. And uh, technically all businesses, unless they're an essential business, like a restaurant or, or um, uh, like medical, uh, oriented you're supposed to be closed down so that's how I, so I asked my buddy I was like yo like how's your guys' shop staying open is that considered essential like firearms and he was like well technically not but the thing is with the state of how the world feels right now like their local police department gets it like they're like yeah like people they need their safety so if there's hundreds of people awaiting their firearms and then you're like hey guys close it up and people are fearing for their safety or they fear like rioters and looters are gonna come to their house. Like, oh yeah, we have a, we just heard from a friend that um, their parents got, pretty much got tied up and robbed. Um, they were followed home. So, you know, like there are some acts of violence and some acts of just craziness starting to spread from like this panic. So I think my number one big message to everyone is stay calm especially if you live in a very sophisticated first world country trust in the health system um, i know it's hard to trust the government too but trust in your government because there are systems put in place for things like this they've already thought of crisis control so the more you can stay calm and do what everyone is asking you to do we will have enough food we will have enough medical supplies like everything is going to be good it's when people start acting up and start going crazy and it causes this panic and then it uh by you acting crazy it puts other people in panic and then people start doing dumb things and we've seen like the la riots people start like robbing liquor stores and start throwing straight up bricks into like uh glass doors and stuff like we don't need to be doing all that you know like it's 2020 everyone could just remain chill and calm but be aware, which is why I, I'm still going to get my firearm just so I can protect my family if need be. But I'm not panicking like a motherfucker. I just like to have two band-aids in my pockets in case shit happens, you know. But I did get a hold of some boba, so I'm uh, heading home now, and then I'm gonna enjoy it with my bare potato. Made it home with these bad boys. I had to put these in here real quick because I had to use the restroom. And also, we were putting Taika to sleep, and we didn't want him to see it, because if he sees it, he's gonna be like, ooh, I want some, and he's gonna be on this crazy sugar high, and there's no way uh, he's gonna be going to sleep, but finally got some caffeine-free boba. Go? Yeah, I went to half and half. Uh, how did you do it? There's, there's one in like City of Industry, or Roland Heights or something. I was just on the freeway, and I just yelped uh, but how, whatever was the closest. It's... No, I, I was actually going to another place, that I called in, I was about to call, but they didn't pick up. So I'm like, oh, I just go there. But then on the way, I saw half and half, and I'm like, I was going there and see. And there's there actually are a lot of rebels that aren't following the staying in or the, the. It's not a rebel; the, it's idiot. Yeah, a lot of idiots that aren't like. Okay, that's harsh. Not idiots. Just stupid. Because this fuck. is a takeout order, right? There's yeah. actually people in the store that came in like a group of seven that are. I'm like, wait, these guys look like they just straight up hanging out. Huh, this is bomb. It's bomb, huh? But now me and my are gonna enjoy ourselves and have ourselves. Yeah, yeah, bye guys. Bye bye. We want boba. Bye. I want boba. We want to enjoy ourselves a really good night. Thank you guys for following along. Another day of our lives in the shelter in lockdown life of Bart and Geo. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.